Hey everyone, welcome back to Varaku Wednesdays. This is season three, episode 21. And today I want to focus on an article that uh, one of my favorite online authors, Mark Manson, has written. Mark Manson, in case you do not know of, is the author of this really successful book called uh, Everything is Fucked. And uh, you should pick this up and, and read it. It's a fascinating book, uh, very funny very, very uh, deliberate, very uh, perceptive. And uh, in this particular article that I'm referring to, he speaks about the four stages of life. And the first stage that he speaks about is the stage of mimicry. When we were all born, when we were kids, we didn't know any better. We didn't know the rules of the life. We didn't know the rules of what to live by, how to operate. We didn't know any guidelines. We didn't have any principles. So all that we did was look at others and observe what they were doing and mimic them, just replicate their actions. So someone's making a noise, we make a noise. If someone's dropping something, we drop something. If someone's saying something, we begin to think that that's what the right thing is, so on and so forth. And that entire stage of life, the first stage of mimicry is all about no identity of yours, nothing that you truly can represent, stand for, everything that you're doing is a reflection of the world around you. Everything that you feel is an outcome of what others are feeling on your behalf and all that you're doing is just echoing those feelings, those sentiments. And he says, and I couldn't agree more, that the ironical, sad, and fortunate part is a lot of us end up living life in exactly this stage for the rest of their lives. All that they do is just mimic others. All that they do is just reciprocate, reproduce, reflect what others are saying, thinking, acting upon. There's nothing that they have of their own. There is no individuality, there is no identity, there is no cornerstone of what do they stand for. Everything has been built by someone else's impression of what the world around them is. And that's sad. And each time I go to a college to talk to students, each time I speak to academicians, principals, headmasters, mistresses of colleges, schools, all that I tell them is that your job during the student life, when you're learning, when you're in school, when you're in college, is to do one thing and one thing alone. Identify what success and failure means for you. Don't let someone else's definition of success and failure become yours. Don't let the world impose what you should be doing in these milestones of 15 pe ye, 20 pe ye, 25 pe ye, 30 pe ye. Do not let anyone else define what you should be doing with your life because if you do that, you're essentially just mimicking someone else. You're not escaping phase one of life and you're not allowing yourself to create an identity and become an individual that could be just you from first principles. Despite this, a lot, of, a lot of us just end up in this state. They end up in the state because it's naturally comfortable. It's just risk averse, it's safe. It's someone else has done this, someone else has already gone through this. They're telling me that this has worked for them. They're telling me that this is where they are in life and I could be there and all I need to do is just replicate. But we completely fail to understand that that is not our life, it's theirs. What they have gone through, what their experiences are, what their outcome is, is a direct result of who they are and the circumstances in which they were raised or born and spent time in, and that's completely different from ours. And we do not stop and ask ourselves, what is my definition of success? Not my bosses, not my parents, not my partners, not my friends and family. What is my definition of success for myself? And that is the most unfortunate state that you can be in, which is you've just realized you spent your entire life living under someone else's shade. You spent your entire life living someone else's life. You spent your entire life not as yours. On that deep, thoughtful moment, I wish you all the best for this week and I'll see you next week.